Okay, that means that we are live. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We are live. We are live. How is everybody doing? Hope you all are doing well. Today is a very all special are doing day. Well. Today is a very all special day. Well. Okay. Looks like the audio is okay. And the video elements as well. It's moving in a good direction. So I'm grateful for that. So there we are. How is everybody doing? Good evening. Hope you guys are okay. If you guys are ready, please hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, okay? So let's get right into the discussion, shall we? If you guys haven't already, hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. And you guys know as well, you can use the Super Chat feature to get involved in proceedings. How does that sound? That sounds good. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Okay. And don't forget to vote in the poll as well. Right. So go ahead and vote within the poll as well. So you guys can be a bit more engaged in proceedings as well before we get into the details of what this video is all about. And that's what we're going to do at this point in time. So again, good evening to everybody. Hope all is well. Please hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Voice Commentary, okay? We would really appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much. We're very close to 18,000 subscribers, so we encourage you as well to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so that we can be more involved in proceedings here, okay? Good. So, Know Yourself says, bless up the boss, Simon. Very nice. Thank you very much, sir. How are you? All is well? Well, hope you're doing okay. So, CONCACAF, you see the title of this video, and quite naturally, you're curious as well, and you want to know what is the situation, what is the deal here? Yeah, and that is fair, because it is a situation that we have to speak about, a situation that we have to. It says, and all the people watching, bless up. Yep, and bless up to everybody watching. Every single person who is watching, bless up as well. Yes, very, very important, folks. So, CONCACAF. As we know, CONCACAF are the regional governing body for football in North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. So they are the governing body. And you all are aware of that for a long time. You know about their functions and the different member associations that form under the umbrella of the Jamaica, the CONCACAF Confederation of North, Central, and Caribbean Association Football. That's essentially what CONCACAF means. Good. So what I'll say there is this. CONCACAF, by virtue of an article on their website earlier today, commended Jamaica for getting a point against France at the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. This commendation came after, of course, as you know, Jamaica getting the history for a number of reasons. One, Jamaica's first point at a World Cup since 2011. As we know, the Under-17 World Cup in 2011 in Mexico, Jamaica drew 1-1 with France. Jamaica's first clean sheet at a World Cup since 2001 when Jamaica drew 0-0 with Egypt. And in addition to that, what else? Well, Jamaica getting a point against one of the tournament favorites. A team that you would put down as a contender to win the tournament. If you took England 
and the United States out of the equation, you probably would say France or Germany next in line in terms of teams that you would say can go to the tournament and win it. But CONCACAF have given special commendation to Jamaica for picking up their first point at the World Cup. Peter Parker, how are you? Well, I just explained a while ago that CONCACAF has given Jamaica commendation by virtue of getting a point at the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Jamaica also received commendation quite recently for reaching the semi-finals of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. This came via a match coordination meeting that took place during the tournament itself, and CONCACAF representatives commended Jamaica for the progress made within the competition. So all around, it is very good. And I'll explain why as well. All of us as human beings, we thrive off of commendation. We thrive off of things that are positive. So when somebody says, good job, when somebody says, congratulations, when somebody says, you did well, it's like there's, there's a chemical within our bodies that gives us that boost in order to proceed towards the next level in proceedings. And I hope you understand exactly what I'm trying to say in this angle in particular, because when you look at things from this sort of perspective, it's clear to see that the work that is being done by Jamaica is being appreciated and being commended. Tevin Campbell, how are you doing, sir? So the last time that there was a third and fourth place playoff at the Gold Cup was 2015. As you know, that was the year where Jamaica took on the United States in the semifinals and won, which meant that Panama took on the United States in the third place playoff. So the 2015 edition of the CONCACAF Gold Cup was the last time that there was a third place playoff. So that means 2017, 19, 21, 23, four Gold Cups now, we haven't had a third place playoff. I don't see returning, quite frankly. You know, many member associations have spoken about, is it really necessary? I understand exactly your angle. For me, I would have loved to have it, and I'll explain why, because it's an opportunity for a medal. But that's me. That's just me. Some people say it's a job affair, and it's an additional game just for academic interest. I guess I'm just different from that standpoint where I like to see third-place playoffs at World Cups, European Championships, Gold Cups. I like to th see third place playoffs generally. You know, that's me. That's me because I like when you get to a semi final, you have a 25% chance of winning and you have a 75% chance of a medal. So for me, I think a medal is a sign of, is a reward for your progress. So personally, it's, it's funny because at the 1990 FIFA World Cup, Italy played England in the third place playoff. Italy won the game, but England got a Coppa medal at the end of the match. It's interesting, you know? You know? I see a lot of comments here, guys, and... Again, I want to repeat the point, Tycoon, that remember, we're still in the month of July, right? The next set of internationals from a Jamaican standpoint on the reggae boy side is September. Do you know what can happen between now and September? Players can go into preseason and exceed expectations. And some players can go into preseason and they don't hit that form until later in the season. So I think it's quite early to speak about that question in particular that you've made mention about. We came out of a Gold Cup where I'm sure you would have seen that the new faces stamped their class and authority quite well. Dishan Bernard, Joel Latibadir. If you, if you want to call John Russell a new player, to me, I don't. But since it was his second cap, I guess you could call him a new player. Kanaya Boyce Clark made his debut, kept a clean sheet. Dexter Limbikisa showed why 
he should be part of the program as a national player once he's injury free and in good form, at least for the next decade. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Peter Parker, I understand exactly what you're saying. I really do. Because in many person's eyes, trophies define success. And from this perspective, what I'll say is this quite simply. Now, when people may look at Manchester City, who have their nine Premier League, who have their nine league titles versus Arsenal, who have 13 league titles, Arsenal are more successful in top flight football in England. They have more trophies and their reputation puts them as the third most successful club domestically in England. You understand what I'm saying? So I do agree winning trophies help morale. It breeds confidence. It can open up a new aura of things. The next opportunity that Jamaica has in winning a trophy would be the Nations League. So it would require us to get through the group stage, win the quarterfinal, win the semifinal, and win the final. The Nations League is the next opportunity to win a trophy. Let's do something that we've never done before and get to a Nations League semifinal. That would be another box to tick off. A Nations League semifinal and a Nations League final as well to play in. Yeah. Brown Man Security 33, good zone. Which game are you referring to in particular in terms of which game? Because remember, you know, you have a number of matches being played each and every single day. So at nine o'clock tonight, it's Colombia against South Korea. And midnight, well, 12.30 a.m. is New Zealand against the Philippines, while at 3 a.m. it's Switzerland against Norway. So I'm not sure which game you're referring to, but the next time that you're going to see a CONCACAF team involved will be at midnight Wednesday, where Japan faces Costa Rica. It's compelling because Japan played Costa Rica at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, which Costa Rica won. And Canada will face the Republic of Ireland. So we'll see two, well, basically we'll see three CONCACAF teams on Wednesday. Midnight, Costa Rica, 7 a.m. Canada, and 8 p.m. the United States against Netherlands in a repeat of the 2019 final. The next time that Haiti will play, Haiti will play China on Friday morning at 6 a.m. That's the next time that Haiti will be involved. Now, from a Jamaican standpoint, Jamaica against Panama, 7.30 a.m. That's 7.30 a.m. Saturday, the 29th. France against Brazil, that's at 5 a.m. Well, Tevin, we've had a discussion in relation to certain players already, and I've spoken that Morgan gives White at this moment in time. You saw him play at the Under-21 Championships for England. So he's involved in the England Under-21 program. In relation to the situation, Tycoon, as it stands, she will miss the game against Panama. So it means that the other eight attacking options will be looked upon because of the suspension against Panama. So the next game would be against Brazil. So, with that being said now, who are the eight attacking gems that can be looked upon? Cameron Simmons, Jody Brown, Kiki Van Zanten, Tiffany Cameron, P. 
Paige Bailey Gale, Chena Matthews, Kayla McKenna, Soleil Washington, Trudy Carter. So call it nine. Nine gems analyzed and looked upon. Compelling, isn't it? Let's let go through some more of the comments here. Ramsey from Pillar Jacob. Well, he's in the under 21 setup for England at this point in time. Joel Latibodir is fantastic. And you guys would have seen that already in his performances. And he's going to be an absolute asset for club club entry. And you will see that. You'll see how much of an asset he will be in that aspect. Yep. The Swartz Labs hope I get a Jamaica win as a birthday gift on Saturday because my birthday is Sunday. Ah, Jamaica versus Panama. We can talk about that as well because in a women's football, Jamaica have defeated Panama on more than one occasion. And we can speak about that as well. Jamaica has played Panama many times in women's football. <coughs> Sorry. In women's football, Jamaica has played Panama quite a number of times. And as you know, the Panama will always spark a very special memory because it was a game where Jamaica won to qualify for the World Cup. On penalties, nobody should forget the persons that kicked for Jamaica in the 4-2 win. Denisha Blackwood, Ashley Shim, Christina Chang, wonderful kick she had, and Dominic Von Flaza. No one should ever forget that. No one should ever forget the kick that she made. And Dominic Bonflaza should be remembered. Do you remember the score in regulation time? It was 2 2. Do you remember who the goal scorers were? Yep, goal scorers in that game Peter Bunny Shaw and Jody Brown. Those were the goal scorers in that game in particular. 2006, Jamaica took on Panama in the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup. Jamaica won by two goals to nil in Miami, Florida. Audie Sullivan scored and also Venicia Reed. Semifinals were a few days later in Carson, California. Jamaica eventually finished fourth in that tournament. That was 2006. Mm -hmm. And we press on. Jamaica played a day earlier than Panama. And now it's going to be a journey because the next game is in Perth. Peter Parker, I don't think you have to worry about that. You know, Gareth Southgate, Steve Holland are not bothered by what Jamaica is doing. Gareth Southgate has a contract until after Euro 2024. Until Euro 2024. So his focus at this point in time is to 
end his tenure as manager of England with a trophy. So right now, he's thinking about how can I win a trophy over the next 12 months. That's where his mindset is. Wayne Carnegie, he needs a passport, my friend. Having a passport is important. Tevin, I would I would say five. That's what I would say. Because one point on the board, three versus Panama, that would take things to four. And a point against Brazil, that would be five. But if three teams in the group are on five points, then that makes things quite compelling. Because if Jamaica defeats... Panama and Brazil and France draw. That means the standings looks four, four, two, zero. And what does that mean? That means that if France have a cricket score against Panama, then France would go to five points. Brazil already has a plus four goal difference. So they already have something healthy. You know? So even getting five points could be dangerous depending on what other results happen. So we'll do our best. Two wins, we end with seven points. We'll have Bunny for the game against Brazil and that game will certainly be massive and determined to get to the round of 16 of the competition to face one of Germany, Colombia, South Korea or Morocco. I mean, Morocco had a heavy defeat today, but they are in the group that we could face. It could be Jamaica versus Germany. It could be Jamaica versus Colombia. It could be Jamaica versus South Korea. Compelling round of 16 tie that lies ahead. And then as you know, after that is the quarterfinals. Jamaica in the quarterfinals of a World Cup, being ranked in the top 10 in the world. That's a special feeling. And a lot of spin-offs to come that way as well. <clears throat> Goal difference is the icebreaker. That's what I feel, Peter Parker, because the France against Brazil game. First thing first, it's a game that could go either way. However, I feel that game could draw. It would mean that you would have Jamaica on four points, Brazil on four, the French on two, and the Panamanians without a point. And with France looking to taking care of business against Panama, that would put France on five. And Brazil, remember, has a superior goal difference. So that would mean that Jamaica would against Brazil would be a must win. So, well, let's focus on our business, beating Panama, beating Brazil, and everything else will fall into place. So Tevin, you know, four points is not enough, seven points. <clears throat> to Jay Scott, how are you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well, man, and always admire your enthusiasm, your passion, whenever there's a discussion and conversation in relation to the women's game. Always love your passion, your desire. Now, perfect. There's only one bunny shot. There's nobody else like her. However, Mr. Scott, we have players that score goals. We have a player in Tiffany Cameron that has won four trophies over the last three years in Hungary. You know, have a fantastic season with Rangers in Scotland, fresh to a move at Villarreal. We have Soleil Washington that is an absolute menace to the opposition and will be a pest whenever she's on the field. 
Kiki, who is so unpredictable, keeps the opposition guessing, keeps them on their toes. You have a Trudy Carto as well that also has the same sort of guile. And we haven't even spoken about Cameron Simmons as yet or Chena Matthews. Cameron Simmons, for me, she made her mark against the Czech Republic. From the moment that whistle was blown, Cameron Simmons showed for me that she's done enough to be on the plane to Australia. And I wonder, I wonder as well, because she's in her late teens. So Leah Washington is in her late teens. Leah Brooks is in her late teens. The next World Cup, these girls are going to be in their early 20s. You understand what I'm saying? You guys realize that the next World Cup, Bunny is going to be 29? You know the next World Cup, Jody Brown is going to be 25? You know the next World Cup, Kiki is going to be 25? You know the next World Cup, Chantel Swaip is going to be just, 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 just turn 30? Peyton McNamara is going to be in her mid-20s. Sydney Schneider is going to be 27 the next World Cup. Players that will be approaching their peak. And you'll have Auntie Tiffany at 35 years old at our fourth World Cup. <laughs> yeah, but in all seriousness, though, I hope you understand the points I'm making in terms of the personnel of players. Quality. Great to hear from you, Mr. Scott. Siobhan Brown. Quite a bit, Mr. Brown. We've spoken about Cameron Eubank. We've spoken about O'Shea Ellis. We've spoken about Cuba Mitchell. And you know these names already. Franklin Young says, big up, Simon. For Jamaica, it is better if Brazil wins against France because we have no control with the France with France from now on. If we beat Panama, we'll have four points. Brazil could use their bench. Yes, you are spot on, frankly, Young. The best case scenario for Jamaica would be for Brazil to beat France and Jamaica to defeat Panama so that the group would look like 6 4 one zero. And why would that be best case scenario? Because Brazil would be on the top of the group with six points. Jamaica would have four points. France would have one point and Panama would have zero points. That means that Brazil would only need a draw to top their group. You understand what I'm saying? So there would not be an exertive pressure or any sorts of element to Brazil that would need for them to be overly exertive. They know that they would have qualified already for the round of 16. But now for group honors, they know it just takes a draw. And that is a win-win for Jamaica because if Brazil wants, to, uh, if Brazil draws and Jamaica draws, Jamaica will be going to the round of 16 as the runner-up team. And most likely it will mean a clash against Germany in the round of 16. So, yes, that would be the best case scenario. If it's the other way around, if it is France defeats Brazil and Jamaica defeats Panama, then the group would look for four. 3-0. France would take on Panama. France maybe go to seven points. Jamaica against Brazil. A Jamaica draw against Brazil. Jamaica are through to the round of 16 as well. You know? The ratty girl that hates her name, Miano, the Simon Abolish, are going to play the next game, huh? Tajay Scott says, if you like Kayla McCoy going to start, then Cameron Simmons come on for her. Kayla is next in line as a number nine. But if I'm being frank with you, whether it is Kayla, whether it is Cameron Simmons, 
or whether it is Tiffany, I'm confident with any one of those against Panama. Any one of them. Any one of them. Peter Parker says, think Becky will be the oldest on the team for the next World Cup qualifying cycle. Well, she currently is the oldest player in the squad right now, you know, because she's in her 30s as it stands. She's 32 right now. The next cycle, she'll be 36. But I'm not sure if she wants to start a family. Is that something in her pipeline? I'm not sure. But yeah, the next World Cup cycle, she would be 36. And if she wants to play or if she feels like she has another World Cup cycle in her, I would also welcome it as well because you see the quality that she possesses. And I do think that she can continue to be a great inspirational and motivational and mental individual towards Alia Brooks, towards Sydney Schneider, and even to Yasmin Jameson as well and others, Chris and Chambers and other goalkeepers as well. How Chris Brown concert and Riga Boys game in the Nations League going to work with pitch condition? When is a Chris Brown concert? Is it August or is it September? When is a Chris Brown concert? All I know is that I hear that VIP is $2 million. That's all I hear. That's all I hear. Well, Ricky Don Walker, as you know, of late, we saw Tiffany Carmelia at right back, I guess, especially the game against Australia. She operated as a right back. And that certainly adds the versatility to the squad. Doom Bruce says we need to be to beat Panama big and serious. For me, it's about three points. The margin for me at this point, that's not my concern. It's about the victory, the result. So Jay Scott says, I want them to draw 2-2. Two, two. So who must most goals score on. What, you want the Jamaica Brazil game to end 2-2? Tajay Scott. Panama going to try to press us score in a World Cup and we're going to destroy them. We're ready. We'll be ready. We'll be ready for them, you know? We'll be ready for them and whatever they have. We'll be ready. Oh, France and Brazil, 2-2. If that match ends 2-2, then Brazil still has their plus four. France has a zero goal difference. And depending on the scoreline, Jamaica against Brazil. Okay. I understand you completely. Cool. Cool. Fully get you. Yep, that's where we are. I I changed my internet modem, so I think you guys should be able to see me well. As you guys know, this is not streaming here that I'm using. This is YouTube, YouTube Live. But I want to try stream here to see what the connection is like. But I've had no issues here with you guys doing YouTube Live here. But I do want to test out StreamYard to see what it's like, you know? I want to do that. Oh yes, Tajay Scott. In an ideal world, I would want the Brazilians to beat the French, Jamaicans to defeat the Panamanians. And then of course, you know, after that, Brazil, Jamaica, so that the group ends seven five four zero. 
and Jamaica goes to the round of 16, plays Germany, beats Germany. And then, of course, after that, you know, Jamaica plays England in the quarterfinals. And in the quarterfinals, Jamaica plays England. And, yeah, that would be amazing. TJ Scott feels like McNamara is going to get a game in a Panama game. Drew Spence. I'm looking forward to see everybody say the field. Yeah. Tycoon says, hope the Prime Minister make the Chinese build a new football pitch for Jamaica because them active in Jamaica. He the Prime Minister wouldn't have a say in that in those sorts of matters. Not in those, so don't worry about that. Okay. But don't worry. Great things on the horizon. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hit the like button. After you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. All right, guys. We'll be back with so much more right here on Reggae Boys Commentary. All right. Be safe and we're gonna have more. TJ says, remember back to Mars and all around midfielder, she can score goals. Yeah. I remember from youth youth level as well. I'm very happy with her progress as an individual too. All right, guys. Be safe. More to come.